Hello everybody, I hope everybody's having a good day today. Today, we're going to do another MVP chapter. I'm going to be talking about your faces bleeding journey on becoming the second lieutenant of first generation. I wrote this chapter Tuesday, October 18th, 2016. So, without further ado, let's crack at it. Your face is bleeding is MVP's greatest opportunist, meaning he'll do whatever it takes to win a match. Also, an opportunist is someone who uses people, or steps on toes, to get what they want. What he wanted in his member days was absolute victory. Furthermore, your face is bleeding was a prodigy player that protected his teammates with high streaks and leadership. He always relied on strategy to win t TDM matches by looking at each of his enemy's best weapons in KD so that he was fully prepared to outgun the enemy's best players. Also, before a match, he would check the highest score per minute in each lobby to be fully aware of which COD players score to determine whether to play at 100% or 50% and still drop all his streaks. Therefore shows that your face is bleeding doesn't play matches that are hopeless of winning and ensures his team is balanced enough to secure a victory. He joined MVP January 23rd 2011 on the map WMD alongside Bleeding, Black Machismo and WWFS. During the match, Chismo consistently took the size, dropping endless counter UAVs. Your face is bleeding circulated the opposite side of the map, dropping endless UAV and orbital, which allowed MVP to play both aggressive and offensive. The other team was struggling to drop even the most lowest streaks in the game, but if the g enemy managed to drop either a UAV or counter UAV, bleeding aka Riker would blow it up with a rocket launcher. Furthermore, WWE would work on MVP's attack streaks like Chopper Gunner, Rolling Thunder, and Attack Dogs, so simply the other team didn't stand a chance. During the middle of the match, Brandon, aka Your Face is Bleeding, dropped Chopper Gunner and Dogs of his own, showing that we, the first gen, were a force to be reckoned with. Once his streaks were out, made half the lobby rage quit but new players joined in and the score was 75 to 15. after the match we all were getting invites to 1v1s so we had to leave the party for a moment in this decade almost every day we were 1v1ing trash talkers because they thought we individually were weren't true mvp but sadly we proved them wrong also, the 1v1s he did was any guns and snipers with radar off, which he always won with his assault rifles, like the FAMAS and Galil. Therefore, the next week, Bleeding invited the founder of MVP to a party with your faces bleeding and a friend of theirs preparing to head to TDM. The map we arrived on was Havana, where we set a record in MVP for beating the other team 75 kills to 15. So at the beginning of the match, Black Machismo went straight middle, as always, to A, get first blood, B, find out which direction the enemy force were going, and finally drop counter UAV as fast as he could. Your face is bleeding went far right which is the fastest route to their spawn with his brother and friend, doing both second and third gen strat. Sadly, the enemy didn't flank that way, but went to the opposite side where Chismo completely destroyed their entire team. During the beginning of the match, Chismo dropped counter UAV and attack helicopter before his team could get an sh a streak. The enemy wasn't rushing, as much so Brandon and the others couldn't find anyone. Your face is bleeding had four kills, no deaths, Chismo had ten kills, no deaths. So while they were in the enemy spawn, we killed this kid and teabagged him. During the middle of the match, Brandon was 
running back and forth trying to find the enemy. So Chismo called out his attack dogs, forcing the enemy to give away their position, shooting the dogs. Therefore, your face is bleeding, drop napalm strike, killing almost half their team. So Cheese looked at their kills. One kid had two kills, 20 deaths. The second kid had one kill, 19 deaths. And the last kid had two kills, four deaths. Your face is bleeding was simply laughing his ass off. So after we won, he had 17 kills, 4 deaths. Bleeding went 10 kills, no deaths. And Cheesemo had 41 kills and 2 deaths. Then Brandon got offline. The era of first generation was full of players in the fam that could hold their own in any situation or clan war. We would win at least 50 games before losing the next day. Also, every day Brandon invited Cheesemo was interesting because Cheese could be either training or in a match, but that wouldn't stop him from joining and helping each other win. Furthermore, if there was one thing that MVP's first gen did to ensure future gens could live up to their legendary status was teamwork, leadership, and the will to win matches. In the new year of 2012, the era of second generation, Brandon was the first member to buy BO2. He bought the game because it was simply awesome and the guns were a little better than BO1. Brandon was experiencing new maps that weren't as tough as he expected. He managed to hold his own without the fam backing him up for a whole month. The next month, the founder of MVP bought BO2 after his defeat to WWE FS in BO1, where he reunited with the first gen. Once all partied up, your face is bleeding with surprise. Cheese had a mic. So they were catching up, waiting for Riker and Jabbar to join, to head online for some TDM action. The first lobby we got in... Waited... Sorry, guys. The first lobby we got in, waiting for the match to start, the entire lobby instantly started talking trash towards us. They stated... Oh, watch out, everyone. MVP is here. I'm so scared now. Then Bleeding, a.k.a. Riker, said, You should be. Get ready to go negative. The lobby started to laugh. And one kid stated, The only people going negative is the most valuable pussies. Black Machismo was completely pissed off, which he dropped two stealths, two escort drones, and three counting UAVs. Your face is bleeding dropped one hellstorm but tons of UAVs. Brandon, little bro Riker was always our greatest defensive player that used claymores to protect our side of the map mostly in all the doorways in our house. Also the special thing about Riker was that any UAV, counting UAV, orbital V set, stealth chopper, or escort drone was blown to bits by Riker's rocket launchers. Therefore, all our enemy score streaks were useless against our fam in TDM. After we won, oh sorry, after we would win, the entire lobby was silent and most of the trash talkers rage quit. Furthermore, both Randon and Brandon and Troy were surprised on how the landscape of Call of Duty Black Ops had changed both in guns and trash talkers. So since Chismo slowly started to understand leadership made him promoted to the first lieutenant of MVP's first generation leading his gen through hard fought victories and clan wars. During this era Brandon was becoming an outstanding leader leader as well fighting dangerously good players online which brings me to his greatest student Hiram who he founded online the next week your face reading introduced Hiram aka Justin to the founder of MVP on the map plaza since Chismo was noticing this new members potential he played the match at 1000 percent Brandon student was simply a prodigy like his teacher knowing how to play unpredictable doing during the game which is first gen strat also holding down the right side with a sniper dropping tons of streaks 
Once the match ended, Hiram dropped 28 kills, 2 deaths, which almost tied Chismo with 29 kills, 1 death. Then Justin asked, how do I join MVP? Brandon said, oh, you just did it. We don't do 1v1s like normal clans. We're different. Hiram then stated, sounds cool. So once Brandon founded a strong ally, Chismo knew it was a matter of time till we eventually find more. During that day, we won tons of matches till we got bored and hit the hay. The next week, another member joined, and his name was Crazy Killer. He was always in love with MVP, which gave him tons of determination to pass Chismo on top of the leaderboard. Sadly, he always second. He was always second, though. Brandon didn't like Crazy Killer because of the way he talked each time he joined the party. But Chismo explained that he's family and he's just excited to be in the clan that wins every game no matter the ranks. Therefore Brandon understood and just muted him till we all went offline. He just wanted the original pioneers to play together. But Chismo explained that the only way we could become the strongest clan in the world by having an army. So Brandon always trusted Chismo's decisions and the second generation continued to get bigger and bigger. After two months new faces joined MVP like Defend My Honor, Deadshot, Live to Kill and etc. Due to the amount of players we all started playing Ground War together. Furthermore, one night, the first lieutenant of first gen invited everyone of the first and second gen to a party. Chismo said, today we were playing ground war and set a record for the most members in history. So second gen, keep up the good work. Once all gathered, everyone including Brandon stated that Chismo should be the next captain. Also, Brandon said, listen, you're always on the top of, of each game and MVP's best player, bro. Chismo said, I appreciate it. I appreciate it, everyone, but I'm not ready until I beat the first captain and understand what a true leader is. Therefore, we went online with the first cap in our first ground war. <sighs> Sorry guys. And lost in domination on Turbine. After the loss, Cheese knew we all needed training. In 2013, the era of third generation, your face ability had become one of MVP's greatest players in history. During this era, Brandon had won over 1,000 clan wars and got his assault rifles diamond two times. Also, playing with the fam every day allowed the first gen to become the strongest in MVP history for winning 43 games without losing. Furthermore, setting a record for beating a team on Yemen 75-9 to for four years. So during weekly matches, Brandon noticed MVP improving through individual training sessions that allowed us to win consistently weeks after weeks. During the months Winning your face is bleeding met the first cap Edward, which rivaled Cheesemo at the top of each game lobby and kills. So, if it was the three of us in a party, Cheesemo and Edward would have 40 plus kills, but Brandon would barely get 15 kills because they were extremely equal. The next week, we were all partied up with the fam. Once online, Edward and Cheesemo were challenging each other with guns on Nuketown. Your face is being thought that even though oh, even though it was a SVU challenge sorry guys SVU sniper challenge that he would earn at least 20 plus kills but as usual it was impossible because Edward and she's tied with 35 plus kills the next week Brandon was noticing tons was noticing new faces like 
Hockey Gagney, Codfather, Gabe, The New Pioneers, also Mad Bad, Omarion, which is Live to Kill's cousin, Daniel the Soldier, Ducks on Quack, Money Mendez, and etc. Compared to the evolution of the second gen, he was okay with these new members. Therefore, several months later, after whooping Ash and taking names, Brandon had founded another student named Type 1. He joined MVP and didn't waste time becoming the strongest member of the third generation. He looked up to Troy, Edward, and his teacher Brandon because they were the best players MVP had ever seen. Type 1 mostly played domination matches where, where longer... Sorry guys, I'm fucking around here. Type 1 mostly played Domination, TDM, and Hardpoint because the matches were longer, which allowed him to earn more kills. Black Machismo respected him and liked how he was a serious COD player. Brandon noticed that there was a difference between Hiram and Type 1. Like, Hiram was a team player that protects his teammates by callouts, high streaks, third gen strat, and leadership. Type 1, on the other hand, was a great team player that only played with players better than him like Edward, Troy, and Brandon, or with equal game skill. Type 1 only protected his team with high streaks, nothing more. He was like Brandon in first gen era, meaning that he was an opportunist like his teacher. Your face is bleeding. After several months, Chismo told Brandon on the upcoming second captain tournament while training on the map raid but Brandon said cheese I want no part in it plus you'll be the perfect pick bro because if anyone could be Edward and surpass him it's you therefore like said in early chapters Cheesemo became the second captain of MVP and took it to heights unimaginable once Cheesemo was captain everyone including Brandon was proud of Cheesemo for all his hard work but sadly type one left the fam to join another clan he was interested in your face is bleeding was having the best call of duty games ever especially when one day it was brandon cheese and justin versus nine cod players online on the map slums during the match we holded our own whooping ass and taking names because cheese dropped air support county uav Brandon dropped Orbital, and Justin dropped two lightning strikes. After the victory, we showed that MVP was simply the greatest clan in BO2. Also, that third gen strad had surpassed the second gen of holding down an area of the map. Furthermore, a couple weeks later, Brandon found a new student named Brett, who played like your faces bleeding and Riker combi combined, making him a strong ally. Therefore, while the third gen was coming to a close, Brandon was training with the founder of MVP on Raid when she said, Brandon, I think that I'm getting soft and there should be a third captain. So I want to promote you to lieutenant, which you'll be able to participate in a tournament. Your face is bleeding stated, I don't want to be promoted, Cheese. You're doing great as captain and I don't really expect anyone to be the next cap so black machismo had to put off the tournament because nobody from first second and third generations didn't want to be promoted furthermore your face is bleeding and the second cap went online to play some snd for a little bit during the match we played with caution i beat the other team 4-0 in 2014, the era of 4th generation, Your Faces Bleeding, aka Brandon, had simply done it all in BO2 and was waiting for a new COD to eventually come out. Then Hiram told us about Advanced Warfare, but Cheese wasn't 100% on getting the game. So Brandon bought the game and played alongside Justin, where most games he did great, but other games he did bad. After a while, Brandon was slowly hating Advanced Warfare because of the jumping, slides, and the fact that almost every lobby just kept using the same guns. Therefore, one day, 
playing with Hiram, he kept killing himself in a TDM match 72 times and took a break from COD for two years. Black Machismo tracked down, tracked him down on PS4, BO3 in 2016, which was our reunion. Since Justin returned several weeks before his teacher, so defend my honor joined, but his new name was Nade Shot, cause his other account got hacked. Then we all went online with Polo Baby, a member from the fifth gen, and WWFS. The first match we played was on Hunted, which was an outstanding game because Chismo and WWE were using bots slash swords. During the middle of the match, both Brandon and Justin dropped Cerberus and UAV. Black Machismo didn't drop anything but managed to get 20 kills, 5 deaths. Hiram got 28 kills, 7 deaths. With a sniper, Pola Baby had 16 kills, 13 deaths. And Brandon dropped 17 kills and 2 deaths. After we won, there was a winning circle and everyone laughed at Troy's dance moves. And Gina Naji song. The next match was Stronghold and Defend joined, which we completely destroyed the enemy's forces. But during the beginning, we were struggling though. During the middle of the match, Cheese brought his team back with his combination streaks of Cerberus, Talon, and Wraith with his Fury Sword, while everyone else started spawn trapping the enemy consistently. Therefore, the match ended with the founder chopping a kid's head off, <laughs> which the, the entire fam was laughing about for a few seconds. The next day, while Brandon was training with Black Machismo on Nuketown 2035, Chismo promoted Brandon to the second lieutenant of first generation. So, now finally, after all his hard work, he could take part in the upcoming 4th Captain Tournament of 2018. The end. So, my final thoughts on Brandon. Um, he was just overall great player. Um, back when I was a member and I didn't know you know how to be a leader if I at the time when I was predicting a second cap I was predicting maybe Brandon um, Justin um, WWE um, I can't remember if I was thinking type 1 maybe a well hockey Gagney joined after but like I thought of a few people that could be prime second caps, and I think your face boom would have done a fantastic job. He's a great leader, great guy, he's funny, everyone loved him. He was just overall a great player. He's a great player when I met him, when I found him, and he, he just kept improving and getting better. He was able to bring people in the, in the clan, he brought in like at least four people, <laughs> you know what I mean? So as a lieutenant, you know the second lieutenant ever ever uh he did a phenomenal job or well he would be the third lieutenant ever but in numbers wise he is the second legit lieutenant in all of mvp so that's it for this chapter um the next chapter i'll talk to you guys about would be maybe Riker or possibly hear him tomorrow or I'll probably talk about it tomorrow or within a week. And that's it for this chapter. Have a good day and peace.